TechFest 2014 brings to you the International Robotics Challenge, initiated in 2008 with a vision to enhance the skill and expertise of students in the field of robotics. International Robotics Challenge provides an ideal platform to showcase their technical prowess in the international arena. The qualifiers for this competition will be held at Bangladesh, Egypt, Ethiopia, France, India, Nepal, Pakistan, Russia, Sri Lanka, Sweden and Thailand. The top two winners of each zonal will get entry into the International Robotics Challenge Grand Finale to be held during TechFest 2014 at IIT Bombay. A deal with Davy Jones to be captain in exchange for 100 years of service on board the Flying Dutchman. Ah, it's the locker for you. Jones will find you and drag the ship back to the depths and you along with it. Jack, the time is up. It comes now with ravenous hunger to the man that bears the black spot. Unless I can find the locker and destroy Davy Jones' heart. Hidden in the labyrinth of caves on a Caribbean island is the locker. Jack has to find it and destroy its contents. TechFist brings you the crucial mission for the International Robotics Challenge in which teams must build a manual bot, the ship bot and the grid solving autonomous bot, the jack bot that works on the principle of line following. The task is to destroy the things caged in the locker. But to do that, it has to cross several hurdles coming in its way. There are three blocks in the whole journey. The key block, the nexus block and the calypso block. Each has dimensions of 150mm by 150mm by 80mm. All the blocks will be completely white from all sides and they will be non-magnetic with a maximum weight of 100 grams. The key block and the calypso block are placed in the autonomous zone whereas the nexus block is placed in the block zone besides the ring. The arena is divided into two parts equally for the two groups of pirates. Each part consists of an autonomous zone where only the autonomous bot can move and the manual zone in which only the manual bot can maneuver. The autonomous bot starts from the auto start line and the manual bot starts from the start zone. Each white line is 30 millimeters in width and there are nodes that are black squares of dimension 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters at the intersection of two white lines at some places. There are two transfer zones. The key block will be placed in one and the nexus block in the other by the autonomous and the manual bot respectively. After which the key block is collected by the manual bot and the nexus block by the autonomous bot. There are pits of width 160 millimeters, which can be crossed by putting the blocks into it. Also, a plank is inclined to the wedge. The locker consists of two thermocol sheets for each team and a central metal plate. The first intersection of the two white lines is the first checkpoint. If the autonomous bot successfully crosses it, then it discovers the key block and places it in the transfer zone 1. In the meantime, the manual bot has to throw a ball into a vertical ring at 1 meter distance. Then it enters into the restricted zone and carries the nexus block to transfer zone 2. The manual bot and the autonomous bot collect the key and nexus blocks respectively and deposit them in their respective pits. The manual bot can now cross the pit. The autonomous bot will go forward to climb the wedge but cannot move on until the manual bot slides down the plank. The autonomous bot will now collect the calypso block and place it in the deposit zone. The autonomous bot will hit the thermocol sheet and expose the metal plate in which the manual bot will throw a ball to end the challenge. 
and established themselves as the uncomparable and the most intelligent pirates. Minus 25 points for crossing a node. Minus 35 point if it takes restart before crossing the first intersection of white lines. Minus 25 points if the autonomous bot enters the manual zone. Minus 25 points if the manual bot enters the autonomous zone. Minus 30 points if either of the manual or autonomous bots go into the opponent's zone. Minus 30 points if the manual bot is not able to hit the ball into the vertical ring but still enters into the restricted zone to continue the journey. 